Good morning, man. How are you? Well, actually, it's uh, evening. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, <good. laughs> You're a rather long way away from me. That's true. How's everything? Uh, it's fine. It's fine here. And I will say this because I say it to everybody. You're in a nice part of the world. It's got plenty of sunshine. True. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the cold. You would hate it where I live. We don't have warm. At all? Well, no, not very often. I live opposite the North Sea. Oh. And that's about as cold as it sounds. I want to ask you two questions at the beginning. One is okay. going to gonna be very strange, but it's important because they, they never get this right with your name. Tell me how to pronounce your first name. So my first name is actually Jorge. Uh, and why everybody knows me as Coke Yepes is because uh, when my little sister was a baby, she didn't know how to say Jorge, so she called me Coke. And then from there, <laughs> that's why everybody knows me as Coke. So it's a nickname. It's not necessarily my my uh, my first. But that's name. what you use. But that's what everybody knows me by. Coke right. Yepes. Yes, ma'am. And the second one, um, I don't want to tell what want you to tell me exactly where you are. Which country are you in at the moment? I live in San Diego, California, United States. So that's not Afghanistan and it's not Syria. I haven't been to Afghanistan since 2011 and I've never been to Syria, no. <laughs> because obviously, as you know, that's where they all put you. Yeah, they, all, they put me all over the place. It's, it's insane. It's ridiculous. Yes. You've been in <laughs> Yemen quite a lot as well and you've probably never been near there. No, I, I think like I probably get the most, I probably have the most scammers amongst everybody because I get like 500 to 1,000 messages daily from women. <gasps> okay, that's awful. I mean, I've even got a lot. Yeah, and the, the worst part is not that. The worst part is that it has came to my job. So yeah. for the past three years, uh, it's to the point, ma'am, to where... It has had a little bit of impact, not a lot, but I'm getting out of the Marine Corps here in four months because at the end of the day, I mean, the, the amount of complaints and the amount of uh, hassles that you have, and then you go to a new command where yeah. you have new leadership and new bosses that don't know you, and then you bring all these problems with you. Uh, it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> it's, annoying. Yeah, it's big time annoying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've spoken to many who've had sort of, you know, security clearance problems and things like that because because of, of you know, what I can't understand is um, why anybody, okay, if they've been scammed using your pictures, okay, that's sad. What I can't understand is why anybody should contact you about it and why I... anybody should contact your work about it. So from my experience, I mean, I've been on Instagram since 2017 and I've seen it all. I mean, you have, you have the nice people that they want to reach out to you and they want to let you know what the problem, that there's a yeah. problem. Yeah. I appreciate that a hundred percent. There is a people that are kind of in denial, um, even though it's very, 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 very relevant that it's a scam, but I just think that in their mind, there's that 1% hope that they might have gotten lucky. You know what I mean? So they're yes. just going to shoot their shot. Most of the time, I ignore that because at the end of the day, I mean, <clears throat> you entertain it and they start telling you, oh, I have pictures, mm -hmm. I have videos, I have this. And when you yeah. clearly see that I speak differently, so I don't have time for that. And then there's the 1% that I hate is the individuals that come to my page. And the worst one was not too long ago. They were like, um... When your wife dies because of the stuff that you've done, like they, they're making threats and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it's common sense. I mean, it's not really it hard. It is common to, sense. You know what I mean? It's not really hard to uh, realize that you're getting scammed. So at this point, ma'am, like I tell people, they're like, I've gone private, uh, public. That's but like, I tell individuals, I'm like, it's like me pretending, th stopping stealing from the world. Like, it's never going to happen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's nothing that I can do. I've done it no. all. I mean, There's... you've got, let, let's, let's face it. If you, went, if you went off social media now, 
if you went off, never came back on again, they would still use you because they have all your pictures stored on their laptops and they've got them there to use. So nothing you can do. And it's happening, ma'am, because if you've noticed, I've been very low-key the past year. Like the past year, I haven't really posted much. Yeah. Uh, I've been actually preparing myself to exit the Marine Corps. Uh, so that's why I've just been off and plus not wearing the uniform much because I want people to start getting used to yeah. the civilian side of me. Like the Marine Corps is, is, is pretty much facing off. But like you said, even this year, all those pictures that they've had since 2017, 2018, videos, 2019, they will continue to use that. Uh, yeah, they will. Indefinitely. I just hope that when I do get out and people actually see my page, then it's a little bit easier for them to comprehend. Like, okay, well, this guy has not been in the Marine for this long. Yeah. So hopefully that's going to help a little bit. But Well, yeah, because then, you know, <laughs> you know the, the reason I started to do this was – Two reasons. One is to get your personality out there. Because obviously you've heard how Nigerians talk. It's nothing like you talk. So when they get videos with voiceovers, which I'm sorry are funny, um, or the, when they get telephone calls from a very low African voice, it's not your voice. So hey, you know, it's not even... <laughs> I mean, it's not, not even, even American, African. is it? Or anything? African. Like, there's a lot of Nigerians. I think, like, that's where it started. But now it's to the point where people from Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, like, you got Brazilians, you got uh, Spanish people in my own country, in Mexico. And it's to the point where it's just all around the world. I think it has uh, came to light that it's a lucrative business because it people is. are just so. And, and let's talk about let's let's talk about the importance here. Like this is this is and and, and before I continue, I, I want to say thank you because you are one of the very few that has gone out of your way to help us. You know what I'm saying? Because this, thank you. And, and we really I do appreciate it. But let's let let's let's start educating people. My biggest question to women: I was raised old school in Colombia to where. Why in the hell, and I apologize, I'm sorry for, my, for, for, for the tone of voice, but would you give a man money? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, if you have to provide a male with money from the beginning, like you're, you're wasting money, your... You know, you wouldn't have that in a relationship where you had, you know, you were together. If you were with somebody and he wanted lots of money from you, you wouldn't want that, surely. And it's like, what are we looking for? That's the problem with society nowadays. You know, like, what are we looking for? Like, a man is supposed to be the provider, but this guy is over here. That's that's one, okay? Well, if that's your if that's your style, where you like to uh, you like to be the man of the house, and the guy doesn't do anything, it is what it is. Number two, it's two thousand and twenty. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a camera. Everybody has a video uh -huh. system. And if theirs is broken, they have a cousin, a sister, an uncle, a friend. Like They've usually got somebody in the room with a, with a camera phone. It's 2020. You know what I mean? If you're believing that people have flip... I've seen one person have a flip phone and he had... <laughs> it's, it's one of my friends. He's, he's an older, older guy uh, at my work. He just doesn't like technology. But 99% of people have this technology so those are the red flags right there i can't i can't video you i can't see you and i tell people like yeah. even when well, i was in a I, had, I talked to a lady um recently who, who you know been scanned by your pictures and what they'd done she was having a video call but she couldn't see you so the, the part that was you was blank but the scammer was saying oh you look so beautiful tonight i like your hair the way you've got it i like your green top you know so she accepted that why would you accept that because this is a video call and i always say it, two faces in front of the camera with a conversation where one says one thing and the other one replies to you that is a video chat nothing else accept nothing else true and then you know and then you have the people that i don't know if it's their psychology but they get scammed multiple times. Yeah. That is the worst. Like, at the end of the day, guys, 
you are the reason why this is happening. You are allowing, instead of educating people, you know, I had a, I had a lady saying that she got scammed before and then she was like, she didn't think it was going to happen again and then it happened again. Well, How do you, I, I, it's, it's like people don't learn from. I mean, they all say, they all talk the same. So, you know, I mean, they try it with me plenty. I'm the right age group. I'm widowed. I'm, I'm just, you know, perfect to hit on. So I, you know, I get it plenty and they all talk the same. But if you've paid money to somebody and somebody else comes along and asks you for money, something will pay. I must tell you that, oh, I've been through this. I shouldn't send money. You know? Yeah, like my mom, my mother, she gets scammed all the time. And <laughs> it's crazy. Like my own mom, she's like, oh, God, Marine military guy is hitting on me. I'm like, mom, like, Cut it out, delete that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to deal no with it. excuse for your mom to get scared. With my mom. And then she started dating, which she's dating the guy right now, some guy from Colombia. Uh, same, same story. Like, oh, I'm going to give him all of this, all of that. And I'm like, okay, stop. Give me the dude's number. She gave it to me. We FaceTime. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, at least I know he's real. Uh, that's a good start. You know what I mean? And I'm like, you're not going to give him nothing yeah for a whole year you know i love it i love the dude to prove himself and then at that point we can talk about helping each other out but it's, think, <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> yeah it is i mean you know it should be like me okay be like me don't believe anybody don't believe anybody don't really like anybody and don't send anybody any money sorted but you know we get things i have so many id cards with your picture on oh I mean, god you know i've seen them all i've seen and they all say that i'm in the army or i'm a captain like, oh yeah get, oh you've been a general hey, like, okay you've been a general yeah i'm a general yeah. and i'm I've, well, I've been in 12 years but it takes a little well, bit longer for just me just yeah just think of the retirement you'd get as a general you know uh people just need to do their homework, you know what I mean? Do your homework. It's not hard to find out. It's not hard uh, to, to, to find the real individual. And, I'll, tell and you, so, I'll tell you what particular problem we have with your um, Instagram account. You have lots of followers. They come on there and they leave you a comment. When they've leave, left you the comment, they will get contacted by another Koke Yeeps, um account that will say, oh, you know, thanks for, for contacting me. Um, I can't talk to you on here. My wife controls this account. My manager controls this account. My captain controls this account. Come and talk to me on Hangouts. And they go and they do it. And that, you know, please tell everybody you are the one that is in control of your Instagram account. Nobody else. And you're not going to talk to anybody on Hangouts. And the funniest part is 90% of the time, my name is in the uniform and they go by <laughs> Tom Robertson or yeah. Mike Lewinsky, like. <laughs> yeah. So. And they often call you Fred. I've had you as Fred a few times and I just, I just can't see you as Fred somehow. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. I'm glad they didn't name me Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It might, yeah, your life might have been very different if you'd been called Fred. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so you are not contacting anybody at all who leaves you a comment, a nice comment, because you're not going to, con you know, comment on the other ones. You're not contacting anybody at all and telling them to go and talk to you on Hangouts. Have you ever been on Hangouts? Ma'am, I only have uh, Instagram and YouTube. I used to have a Facebook, but so many fake profiles that they took my own account down and I could never get it back. So every time that I create a Facebook account, it gets knocked down. So I, I gave up on Facebook like two years ago. Oh, if That's... you want, well, I can help you with that. You know that. How? Because we do have a contact with Facebook and Instagram. So if they do go, if they are reported away or anything like that, we actually can get them back. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know. That's great to know because... Yeah. My Instagram account, only one time it got banned and I was like, oh, yeah. God, you know, that's pretty, pretty crazy. But yeah, 
we get we get quite a few back because what happens i mean your account's a really big instagram account but even even some others that are quite big um you know scammers will keep reporting them and reporting them um and and they go down and we've felt some we can't get back uh, and i don't know the difference but most of them the vast majority of them we can get back so we can out so we can get fakes taken down but we can also get ones back up again which yeah, is really I also, useful. i also did create a tiktok account like when it first came out oh, and I did hate tiktok but uh it's just not my style you know i didn't everybody does the same thing on tiktok so it kind of turned me off like i don't really i mean tiktok is a lot of fun for kids and but myself i'm a businessman and i like to create opportunities business opportunities growth tiktok is not really the platform for me right now i have it just in case in the future it turns into a instagram or youtube somewhere yeah. where yeah. you can grow but I do have an account but I don't I'm not even active on it. I don't understand what what people what people put on TikTok because they sort of like you know standing in front of the camera sort of waving your arms about and things it's just it's not me you know. Yeah. So yes I mean this is what we've got to get over we've got to get over the fact that this is you. I am so sad that you're leaving the Marines because of it though. I think it's all yeah, awesome. it's not completely the but it definitely had a big influence it had a big influence uh i knew that you can't do both you can you can't do the military and and like i tell people i never expected i started my ch my my instagram uh because of my marines i wanted to inspire them motivate them but i didn't understand it was going to have such a huge impact on on the civilian factor so it grew fast and I don't think the Marine Corps has caught up to like we're a little bit we're a little bit uh back in time. The Marine Corps is a little bit back mm -hmm. in time. The people that is in charge does not understand the power no. of the influence don't and it causes know. a lot of friction. So I knew that it was going to come to a point where I would have to pick one or the other. Yeah. Uh and also to be honest ma'am, I mean I did too much too soon and now I think it's time to enjoy my 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 kids my family yeah. and you know I mean, but let's, uh, let's, but let's, uh come on let's get let's get the important thing here you've got a fantastic dog a dog yeah oh yeah she's, she's right beautiful. Yeah. oh look at that yeah. <laughs> oh she's gorgeous oh that's my baby right there right just a minute just a minute she's beautiful wait till you see this Oh god that's awesome. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a good look. Yeah, she's huge animal. <laughs> I'm a lover. I'm actually looking into uh purchasing um horses. Huh. Yeah, like I'm I'm very like uh, people don't know and they're going to start understanding a uh, different side of me because obviously once I get out I'm going to dedicate myself fully on YouTube and showing people the other side of me because it's a good way to go with the military you have to be extremely professional and i never wanted it mixed you know when you're in the marine corps it is what it is but in the future i definitely uh want to show the people i'm i'm more of like a country guy to be honest like if yeah. i could just live in a ranch with a bunch of animals and oh yeah being less yeah. complicated that's that's my way to, my way of life for sure and it's going to be very different from the way you portrayed you know the way i mean let's face it if you show this this future life of yours if you show it on instagram and you show it on youtube it's going to be so opposite to the way scammers portray you as as you absolutely you know and um there's just been a lot of growth and a lot of as bad as it's been it has matured me and it has opened my eyes so i'm i look you know with life things happen and you have to yeah. see like what life is trying to teach you just like when these people keep getting scammed i mean if you keep living on your life you're going you're going to continue to fall on the same thing but i used to post a lot of pictures without my shirt and physical fitness and this that and the other and i don't do that anymore you know what i mean yeah. I don't. <laughs> you grown up now. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, absolutely, I have matured. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's 
it's awful. You know, what gets me is, um, and I know scamming's easy. And I know it's very easy to get women to send money because, oh, by the way, you're on Grinder, So you get men to send money as well. Um, mm. Which, you know, I thought, I thought gay people recognised each other, you know. But I, I can't see you as a gay man. Okay, you know, absolutely not. But you know, <laughs> and it's funny. I get hit on by gay all my life. All my life, I got hit on by gay dudes. One time, I was in downtown San Diego, and this gay guy walked with me like three streets. So I was just walking downtown by myself, and he started conversating. I'm a nice dude, so I'm like, "Yeah, what's going on?" We started walking like three streets down, and by the third street, I looked at him and I'm like, "Hey, you don't think I'm gay, do you?" And he's like, "Oh, you're not." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> no. Well, that's, no that's, I, I've had that I problem. Can, wow. I you know, know I can't see you as gay. Something else that is a pet pet hate of mine is this. You know, age is just a number. Where um, you get plenty of old ladies who fall madly in love with you. Those are the worst ones. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Those because, are... Because, you know, I try to tell them. You know, I try to say, well, you know, look, um, it's never going to happen. And it would never happen in real life. And they say, well, in their eyes, they look quite good for their age. And I always say to them, it doesn't matter whether you think you look good for your age. You are the age. So <laughs> it's never going to happen. So do you get them? Do you get them contacting you? Those are the 1% that I tell you that send me the nasty messages. It's nobody that's young. Everybody young, they figure it out right away. Uh, some of them that are young, they figure it out and they still try to like hit on me to see if, oh, guess what? I got that person, but you know. Yeah, they always, think, they always think you're going to like them and something might just happen. Yeah, they're like, oh, well, I kind of have feelings for you. So I don't know uh -huh. if give me a shot. But they're, that's not that bad. But the the older women is the one percent that they send the nasty messages, and it's to the point where I just people know if you're negative on my page, I don't care who you are or what it is about. Yeah. I love the little button that you have block. Yeah. If you go on oh, my block it's list, fantastic, isn't it? It's my favorite. Yeah, you go for days on my block list. It's it's insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We keep wondering if ours is going to run out. Because we've got so many on ours, we keep thinking, is there a capacity? You know, because we must, we must be getting there by now, you know. But, um, but yeah, and I mean, I, I think it's awful that they use the kids, to be honest. That's the worst, the kids. And uh, I try not to post that much anymore because, you know, as you start maturing and stuff like that, it's really not worth it. Like, when you start thinking about, okay, well, there's the possibility that there's somebody out there that is extremely mad at me right now and yeah. I have nothing to do with it and I don't want uh, my children to be the consequence. You know what I'm saying? I so. don't want them to grow up and see themselves. You know, I hope it happens. I hope it stops before they are of an age to be able to go on social media themselves and see themselves because I think that's extremely sad. I know it happens with, with other kids. I have so many me trying to follow me and send me a message i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but i don't get that you know i don't get that where you know they come as a fake of you and then they follow you and send you a message they think that they, most of the messages they think that I'm, I'm a nice guy uh and they're like hey my country is doing really bad and uh -huh. I just, i'm starving send, send me some money and allow me to use your pictures and i'm like bro like there is no excuse. Yes, okay, that, fair enough. It's not the best country. It's not like the USA. It's not like the UK. Um, but there is no excuse for what they do. And half of them, they're not. They're Look, not I mean, you know, if you've got an iPhone and you've got Wi-Fi, I'm sorry, you're not starving. I don't feel bad for anybody, man. I came no. from Korea. I didn't have anything in... I tell people, I'm like, you are a product of your own environment if that's where your mind is at. There's so many Nigerian UFC champions right now. There's so many Nigerian... We have lots. We have lots of soccer players. There, there is so Nigerian many... Nigerian in, in our country. Absolutely. There's so many individuals that where there's a will, there's a way, and you just have to... If it, You have to live that environment. I mean, if you want to think... Doing bad to people... 
regardless no. of your situation, doesn't excuse anything. You know what I'm saying? There's always a solution to a problem and there's always a way of getting out of that system. But 90% of the people are like, oh, we're a product of our society. And I could have said the same thing, but look where I am right now. And But you, you just think if all the application, because, you know, we know there's tens of thousands of them in Nigeria scamming. We know that because we know the, the extent of it. Um, but if you think the application they would put on in improving their own country, then it might not be such a bad place. Absolutely. You know, because to me, all they want to do is sit in a room with their fingers and that's the way, that, you know, they're not going to put any effort into their lives because they'll just get money doing it this way. It and you can't like hurt people like that. Just like selling drugs, just like anything that you do that is bad. I mean, quick money and, and you know, that's another issue in, in, in this world is everybody wants results so fast. Everybody yeah. wants to be rich quick. Everybody wants to have a good body quick. Everybody wants to be healthy quick. But people need to start understanding that in order to be successful, it takes time. You know, you do it the easy way and the easy, the same easy way you're going to get it is the same easy way you're going to end up in jail or it's going to go away, you know? Yeah. And don't use somebody else to get where you want to go. If you can't do it with your own application, it's not worth it. You can't use somebody else for you to succeed. Absolutely. But the worst part is that we can't stop it. You know, there's you know? nothing to do to stop uh, this madness. And it's only going to continue to yeah. grow and grow and grow and grow. And, so. and, and we, we try to say to women because you know this really makes me angry um they, they'll say oh i knew he was a scam i just decided to play with him well i'm sorry don't play with him because that's not stopping anything i was gonna ask uh, and we've mentioned this before but i feel like you having such a huge influence uh with facebook and instagram i know what you're gonna ask me is there a possibility they can come up with like a green check saying that this is a verified military member? You know, it doesn't have to be a blue check saying that you're famous or anything like that. But I think that that can solve a lot of our problems if we can come up with a green check. At the end of the day, all these service members are protecting the nation and they're doing a great thing. The least we could do is give them a green little check on their account saying that, hey, this is a certified military member you know what I'm saying? And that's going to that's gonna save us a lot of problems because once people start getting educated that, okay, well, you're a military member and you don't have that green check, then this yeah. is just... Uh, this and is you could prove, you could prove in an instant exactly who, who you are. And I think they could do it for veterans as well as current service members. I mean, I had to register with Facebook and Instagram so that they would accept things from me. They know everything about me. They've got my bank account. They've got everything. They know where I live. They know all my history and they won't verify me. Now, don't you think that's absolutely ridiculous? Yeah, that's wild. So I was thinking sort of after Christmas and, and you know, get that over to try and work on something publicly to get support for um, some sort of verification process for the military because it is ridiculous what they're doing to you all. Because yeah, at the end of the you're day, you're bringing people into Instagram as well, and it's going to put it's putting a bad reputation on some of the best, uh, some of the people that do so good. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and say that military members are the best because we have our own flaws and stuff like that. But they definitely put a bad taste. Uh, it on... does because you know you talk to to women from other countries. And some of them will say to us, oh, I, I don't like American servicemen because they all ask for money. And so you've got to tell them what's happened. And it's not you. You know, it's not the American servicemen that's asking for money. I happen to think that you would be a very bad scammer if you used your own pictures because you'd probably be arrested in two days. And I don't know if people but, know military members in the United States make very good money like yeah I've, I've heard that we that we spend it on a lot of crap and just like we make it <laughs> those, hey, that's not some of them but we make very 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 good money you know what i mean i even talk to uh i even talk to people in colombia and the amount of men, money that i make here over there is what doctors lawyers yeah. like the rich yeah. people 
you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and you don't need it. And, and let's go back to what you said about the fact it's 2020. And and the scammer will say to a woman, um, when when if it's if they're using you, they'll say to a woman, I can't get to my bank account. It's 2020. Nobody cannot get to their bank account. I'm telling you right now, if Marines do not get paid, if maybe a month. I give it a month. If Marines don't get paid for more than two months, the <laughs> operation is over. I'm telling you right now. I don't care yeah. where I am or what I'm doing. At the end of the day, uh, our families is the most important thing. That's yeah. what keeps us motivated and it keeps us going. So for people to tell you that a military member is not making any money and they're doing, you know, they're going through like some of the hardest type of training and that's never going to happen. No, and it's down to people thinking about it. And it's a huge motivation too. Like we get paid. We're probably one of the only organizations that rain, shine, you get sick. It's, all, it's actually on the opposite. You get paid on the 1st and on the 15th, regardless. Yeah. I can have COVID right now and they could send me to quarantine for yeah. like two months and I'm still getting paid. And every you're still day. getting paid. Yeah. Getting paid. yeah. I mean, this. I, I talked to, um, to, to one guy who... Um, he was actually in quarantine when he did the live chat with me. And uh, so I said, oh, this is good. You're getting paid for nothing then. He said, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got a son in the Navy over here. And it's pretty much the same over here too. You know, they get paid everywhere they go. I know the rules because he tells me. Um, and yeah, it's 2020. Nobody has a bank account frozen. Nobody has no money. And a lot of it is to do with thinking. For heaven's sake, think about what you're being told and just don't believe it. Absolutely. And do your research. I mean, it's not, it's not hard. And like you said, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, there's some tricky ones where that will hit a younger individual of the same age or yeah. You know, yeah. the same uh, physique, the same looks and stuff like that. But you have, you have to do your research. I mean, you Google my name and it's like there's videos from you guys. There's yes. people that made YouTube videos of me, of the problem that is going on, you know, and I just tell people yes. just Google the name. That's all you have to do. Google and, the name. And so, so the scammer will tell them. <laughs> the scammer will tell them, oh, yes, I know about this. This is awful. I've, re I've reported this to the FBI, but they haven't done anything about it. Um, but yes, everybody else is is fake. But I'm I'm the real guy. I'm I'm the real cocaine. And I think, well, that's ridiculous. Because if your face was out and everywhere across the internet, would you still be going contacting women? No, you yeah, just we, wouldn't do it. We get in so much. Like the amount of trouble that military members get in, it's ten times worse. You know, like a civilian might get a slap in the hand, and they're like, "Don't do it again." We're, we're losing our rank. We're losing our, yeah. especially. They might even send us to jail. You know what I mean for doing yeah. something like that. It makes it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, it doesn't it? It doesn't make any sense. Well, not not none of it makes any sense to me. Um, but you know, people. You see, people. Do you know? I think what, one thing as well. It's all right saying it's twenty twenty. It's twenty twenty. It's the year of the cell phone, and people will have their phones and they've got their faces in them all the time. And everything that comes onto their phone is absolute gospel. They will believe it. And you can't believe everything that you read in front of you. You know? And another thing that gets me, you, you, you said there about Googling your name or your pictures and you're everywhere. People will Google a sneeze. They won't feel very well. They'll get up on the morning and they'll go and ask Dr. Google to see what's wrong with them. They meet somebody online who loves them in two days, who wants to, who by the end of the month, you know, wants a few thousand dollars from them and they don't Google it. I can't understand that. Yeah, I don't get it. The same thing that they don't take the time to read the uniform. It definitely says U.S. Marines on one side, <laughs> name on the other side, and they're telling them that a different name and that they're in the army, you know? I don't, it's not. No. I think well, at the end of the day, I mean, we just got to continue to, this, what you're doing is amazing. Uh, and realizing that 
we cannot stop the problem, but if we can help one person, yeah, that's it. That's all you could do. If you could just help one, and that's where the people go wrong nowadays. Social media, they, the views, the likes, the follows, they want to impact yeah. everybody. At the end of the day, you can't do that. As long as you can impact one individual and help one person, no matter how many times we have this conversation, there's still going to be a lady out there that is going to be extremely pissed off, and she's. And gonna you're still going to get five hundred to a thousand of them contacting you tomorrow. It's insane. Like my freaking DMs, I don't even, I don't get to answer a lot. Of, I used to answer everybody's questions. I don't get to yeah. answer a lot of questions of my own friends, Marines, important stuff because it gets, I get so spammed by so many women sending me mm -hmm. that stuff that I really, I honestly don't even have time to go through that. Stuff. Well, you can't go through them because you can't, you actually can't go through all the crappy bits to get to people that you know. Yeah. So, you know, you can't. It's 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 ridiculous. It really is. I think a large bullet between the eyes of the average scammer would be very nice, but I'd want to pull the trigger myself. Um, yeah. So thank you, thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. If you guys need anything, uh, I'm a big supporter. You guys have been there since day one. Even at the beginning, when there was the little. A scammer people war you remember that <laughs> <laughs> oh no you saw different that groups and That's different awful. people and i didn't understand i'm like if everybody's trying to help like they're like do not do not let them help you let me help you i'm like what is yeah. this about like what is going on yeah, but, but uh but they used to tell everybody there was the fbi and there were homeland security and i mean you know there's lots of little groups that's fine. You know, we, we need as many as will come on and get them. But not saying that the FBI and Homeland Security. Absolutely. But thank you. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you guys are a huge help for, you know, there. even though people might be upset, I know people watch your stuff. Uh, and it's a great tool for them to understand and get the knowledge, you know. You have created a platform with well, different... We are honest with people. I mean... You know, if, if I need to shout at somebody to get her from, to, to get her away from a scammer, I'll shout at them. And they'll sort of then say to me that I'm awful. And Joe's and Lauren's the same on the page. Um, you know, we, we will be told that we're too hard on people. Um, and then by the end, we're all friends and we've all made up and we've got them away from the scammer. But you've got to be firm with people. Because I'm saying on one side, he's fake, he's fake. He's not. And then scam boys saying to them, but I am love you, babe. I'm real honey, you know? Um, so, yeah, I'll do what it takes. And if I can stop them getting some dollars and, you know, somebody losing some dollars, well, that's fine. We do what it takes. But, yeah, it's a, you can do something for me on what? another live chat if you would do another one with me. I'll, I'll tell you what? why. I'll tell you why. Because every single live chat I do, I am asked to do one in Spanish. Oh, that'd be awesome. Now. You speak, hmm? you speak Spanish? No, but you do. So how are we going to do it? You're going to ask me in English. And I'm I'm going to, I am going to tell you what I want, want you to say. Okay. And I want you to say it in Spanish. So we'll do it on another time so we can have a, we can do it properly. Actually, it was funny, but only yesterday I was actually saying to, to Joe that I was going to put something on the page and sort of say, can I have a Spanish soldier or something like that, please? Because it will it will happen the same after this one. They will say to me, can we have it in Spanish? And I can't speak anything except English. And, you know, I, I can't speak. I can, I can speak Google Translate. That's all. Yeah, no, so, I, I can. So if we could plan something so that you can sort of say, you know, give the answers in Spanish and about, you know, the military and... and and what we've been saying about video chats and, and things like that, that would be fantastic. I think that's awesome. Yeah, and I'm flu I mean, I'm fluent in Spanish, so that's not a problem. Yeah, that's that's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so yeah, you see, you've solved a problem for me now. Easy day. But yeah, this, and we also need to work on that. If we can figure out a, a green yeah, check or a green underline or something. Yeah, something. Some, Some mark. Because everybody knows what the blue check mark is. Yeah. Everybody knows you have a blue check mark. The dude is freaking certified, famous, whatever the hell. But it was well, yeah, but I mean, you know, why? Why has some famous movie star 
able to get a blue check mark who's probably never been on his Instagram account. And then, you know, um, why is he allowed one? When any member of the military can verify who they are, you can you can verify to Instagram that you are a bona fide member of the military. It's uh it's called money. Instagram and Facebook. Has if to you're Michael Bublé, you can if get you make, verified. If, if, every, if you verify everybody, then it takes away from the monetization that they're making. And at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's huge because it tells you, like, you can just send in your ID, but it's more than that. Like, you have to have articles written by you. Yeah. And yeah. it's simple as you've, you've, you've got to be well known across the internet. Exactly. So, but I think that for the military members, there's got to be some other type of thing that we could do because yeah. this is ridiculous. And, and you know, they, they want you here, but they don't want to verify you. So we'll work on that as well after Christmas. But I'll oh. get back in touch and we'll, um, we'll, we'll get something Spanish. Perfect. Yeah, right. Right. Thank, you. Thank you very much, Coco. <laughs> Love to everybody there. And give that dog a nice little stroke for me. I will. <laughs> Talk again. Bye now.